Hello everybody, I'm Pat Sherwood. Welcome inside the CrossFit Update Studios. We're continuing on the road to regionals and today I'm joined by one of the best known athletes in our community, Julie Fouché. Very impressive resume. Julie, you've been to the games four times. You've never been outside the top 10. You stood on the podium in 2014. Now, after casually training, you find <laughs> yourself sitting in 10th place after the Open in the Central East region. We want to know if you get an invite, will we see you compete at regionals? Absolutely. I wouldn't miss it. I am really excited about going and competing this year and having a good time. All right. Now, you say having a good time. That's what I want to dive into. <laughs> I interviewed Chris Spieler, who was on the bubble, and he said he's not going because he really doesn't know how to have fun in a competition. He needs to try to compete to win. Are you going to go there and just let the cards fall where they may, or are you going to go in there with that fire in your eye and try to take some ladies down? I am really going with the intent to have a good time this year and to have fun. And it's it really has come from the shift in my priorities this year and no longer having training as my primary focus. Um, and then also last year, I had the opportunity to, to compete with no pressure during the last couple of events after my injury. And I had a great time. So I know that I am capable of doing that. And uh, I wouldn't miss the opportunity to do that again. Let's play out this wonderful fantasy just for the viewers at home, OK? OK. You, you show up to regionals. You're having a blast. And oh, no, what happens? You take one of the qualifying spots to the games. What then? <laughs> I am very confident that that is not <laughs> going to happen. Um, I think that. You know, it's a testament, I think, to how hard everyone trains to qualify to the games. And this year, I am only training an hour a day, one workout. I'm having a good time. I'm not putting any pressure on myself about my scores or my weights or my times. And, you know, my real intent is to always get a little bit better every day and have a good time with training. Well, a lot of people at home are probably like, well, that, that's fantastic. An hour a day, hitting one workout, sitting in 10th. Of course, you had quite a base of fitness built up uh, over the yeah. last few years. So if it's, an, if it's an hour a day now, because you have so many other things going on, what did your day of training look like back when you were eye on the prize? Mm -hmm. Back when that was my focus the past several years, uh, training was my priority, and I scheduled everything else around it. I made sure that I was getting enough sleep every night, that my nutrition was um, taken care of, that I was getting the proper recovery. And I can tell you not all of those things are in place anymore, um, just the way my priorities have shifted. Um, and then I was just training more. I was in the gym at least right. three to five hours a day on most days. That's an incredible commitment. So one of those things which slightly disrupted your training, medical school, yes, can be disruptive. We like to check back in with you every now and then and see where you are, on that path of becoming a doctor. So where are you on that journey right now? Yes, so the end is in sight. I have about one year left. I'll graduate next May of 2017. So this summer, um, doing some more of my clinical rotations, and then I'll be taking my board exam and applying for residency in the fall. Well, luckily, you know, I heard residency is really easy, so that should be just <laughs> lots of free time, plenty of sleep, no stress whatsoever. Yeah, that's what I hear, too. <laughs> Even with this schedule, and you're married on top of that, you still find time to do other things. You've started your podcast, which you put out every two weeks, Pursuing Health with Julie Fouché, where we kind of reverse roles a bit, <laughs> and you play the interviewer. How has that experience been? It's been a lot of fun. It's it's given me the opportunity to learn more about people, even that I might have already known pretty well and just interact with them in a different way. And then to be able to share that information with a wider audience. So I've had a lot of fun doing it, um, but it's definitely not easy. And um, I'm still learning a lot. So um, hats off to you guys for everything you do. Uh, was just, trust me, there's just a lot of fancy editing that happens to make us look like <laughs> we're actually talking smooth and all that. Well, Thank you very much. I know you have a lot going on your plate. We'll keep checking in with you. Good luck in school and good luck at regionals. Thank you. I'll see you there. That is Julie Fouché, one of the best in the business, has the strength, has the brains, has it all. Make sure you tune in to the central region to see how she does. And maybe, who knows, you know, say a prayer. Maybe you'll see her at the games.